Do you find it hard to stage Aerotech motors? I'm going to show you some tips in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I want to talk to you about staging Aerotech motors. Now, the reason that they are hard is because it takes a lot of heat to start these up. A typical Aerotech igniter is a first fire junior or a first fire, um, and it just depends on how big the tip is. Um, these take a lot of current to ignite. Um, so you're gonna need like a 12 volt battery to ignite them. But when you're flying two stage rockets, you're probably only gonna have like a 3.7 volt battery or maybe a nine volt battery available. And it just doesn't have enough oomph to fire off these first fire igniters. So to stage successfully, you have to use an E-match because these will fire off very quick, very easily with just a little bit of voltage. But the problem is that these don't have enough heat to fire off the Aerotech motor. So what are you gonna do? Well, here's the trick. Um, well, first let me describe the Cesaroni motor and why they are different. So here's a typical um, Cesaroni reload motor. And if you open it up, um, this is your delay and ejection charge there. Um, and if you look at the grains, and these are called the propellant grains, um, you'll notice if you look at the top of them, this is the, the topmost grain right here, and this is a, a, another one that goes down in the middle. Um, and the difference is, if you look at it, you have a, an ignition nugget. So basically what they've done is they put a little bit of black powder inside of it as a chunk, a big chunk, uh, not loose black powder like an ejection charge, but uh, a piece that's going to burn nice and slow and hot. And that's what ignites the propellant because, because composite propellant is very hard to ignite. So the E-match that Cesaroni gives you goes up through the inside and then it, it ignites that nugget inside there and then it ignites the rest of the grains. Aerotech doesn't have that in their motors. Um, so that's why they need such a big head on the igniter to get it started. Um, the igniter on the E-match is not enough to fire it off. So if you, here's the trick I'll show you. So here's a, um, an Aerotech reload kit. Um, and it will look like that. Here's a delay and here's one of the propellant chunks. Um, so what we sell is the quick burst, quick dip igniter. Um, this stuff is a liquid and normally you can use this to make your own igniters. Uh, but what you can do is you can take a paintbrush and you can paint the back end of the delay. Just slather it on there pretty good and then just let it dry overnight. Um, and you can also paint um, the very topmost part of the uh, propellant grain. So here I got a little bit too much on, but I want to get it inside of that slot. And you want to paint it in there, get a big um, slather it on pretty good. And I'm going to have to wipe off that, that on the outside there because that won't go in the case. But you just wipe that off while it's still wet. Um, and so now this is a lot easier to ignite than the propellant by itself. So your E-match going up through there will ignite that. And you also have some on the end of the delay grain. And that's the part that goes that side. Now this side you don't want to cover. It's just that one side right there. Um, and so that's what you will do for a reload. Now when you have a single-use motor like this, obviously you can't get to the grains to paint them because they're already assembled. So what you're going to have to do in this case is to create a, 
a head on the E match. And now for that, you don't want to use the quick burst, you want to use the Procast. Because the Procast, um, these, when these E matches pop, they just pop like that, but they don't release a lot of heat. Um, and the heat that they release is not enough. Well, if, if you painted it on the igniter, it would just pop it right off without igniting it, without the motor igniting. But the Procast is formulated so that you can dip the E-match into the Procast. And you want to put a big head on there. And this, when it fires off, it will it sticks enough to it that it will burn and set off the motor at the same time. So that's the difference. This stuff is a little bit, um, I would use that for dipping igniter E-matches, E-matches specifically, but not um, regular igniters if you're dipping your own, like, a, like a, making a first fire. Um, now, if you're using a smaller Aerotech motor, um, like this is a, an F44, this big E-match is just not going to go inside. And you got to get it all the way inside. So we sell a smaller version of an E-match, and this is called a Firewire Mini. And these are small enough to go inside. And again, as before, you'll dip these in the Procast. And here's one that's been dipped. Here's one that's uh, brand new. And that will still go inside the nozzle, small enough to light off this motor so you can air start it if you wanted to air start a small Aerotech composite motor. So this was kind of an advanced video for people that wanted to air start. Um, it will also work if you're using the wireless launch controller. So if you're firing off uh, high power motors and you need that 200 foot distance, um, this will work um, for Aerotech motors, you know, doing the method that I showed you where you were, you paint on either the uh, grain or you're dipping the E-match. Um, again, this is a very advanced video. If you have questions, you can ask us. We're at Apogee Components. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com. Again, my name is Tim Van Milligan, and this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, and may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.